So Jack is fresh back from San Diego, <laughs> fairly fresh anyway. Flash and I want to hit the rewind button. <laughs> JC, back to last Tuesday night when a seismic shift happened as if an earthquake hit out there in the news came that maybe Aaron Judge was leaning towards the Giants. Ultimately, that was not the case. What went on that night? It was chaotic. It was hectic. It was surreal, Bob. I've covered more than 20 of these winter meetings, and you walk into that hotel lobby, and you see reporters everywhere you look. You see agents. You see people looking for baseball news. And when that news was first tweeted by John Heyman that it appeared that Judge was headed to the Giants, I have to tell you that time stood still. Everyone said he really might be going to the Giants shortly after that. John retracted his tweet. But even in talking to Yankee people after that, some of them were still confused and were still searching for answers about where Judge might end up. I ended up talking to someone later in the night, a Yankee official, who basically was doing one of these, like praying that it would end up in the Yankee favor. We know that it did. The next morning, John Morosi of MLB Network broke the news that Judge was coming back for nine years, $360 million. And even though I wasn't involved in the negotiations and I'm not the player and I'm not the agent, Bob, you almost felt as if you had run a marathon covering that because there was so much going on. And then I think Judge ended up where I always thought he would end up. I said that many times on this show. I thought that he and the Yankees would figure out a way to stay united. Jack, I'm glad you brought up Aaron Judge and his agent because you said you were trying to talk to Yankee officials. How about talking to Aaron Judge or his agent to try to get some information? They seem to be so quiet about everything. They played it beautifully. I think silence was golden for them because sometimes when you don't know exactly what is going on, that could lead to some doubt about whether or not you might want to keep the player. I think Aaron Judge was sincere in talking to the San Francisco Giants, being that he grew up about an hour and a half or two hours from there. We know the Padres came in late. I always thought that the Yankees were his first choice, but I think Aaron Judge wanted a certain plateau that he wanted to get to. Hal Steinbrenner comes in late while he's in Italy, has the phone conversation with Judge. Brian Cashman called Hal Steinbrenner the Mariano Rivera of these negotiations for his ability to close them. And I think if you were the Yankees, there was a big exhale because they could not leave those meetings or really couldn't have this offseason continue without knowing they had judge.